What's up, guys? They're all about music here, and uh, I, 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 I didn't want to do this video. Um, I was, I was considering not doing this video, um, because three videos in one day. I mean, that's that's kind of lame. But this is something I really, really did want to talk about. Um, the the new the uh, as most of you probably know, them crooked vultures, um, the the new group that I've been keeping tabs on. Um, uh, their album's coming out the 17th, this Saturday. And last night they had, and I don't know if it's still streaming, it might be, but um, last night they started to stream the album, the full thing, on YouTube. So, you know, I naturally I was pumped, and I went and I listened to it. Um, I listened to it about three times through, maybe two and a half. And uh, I gotta say, it was what I expected, but in the most generic, boring way possible. Like, I expected this album to be a good blend of those three guys' you know, personal style. Um, and it was that, but it was the most boring blend you could think of. Like, there were no, there were no ooh moments, you know, like, wow kind of moments that I expected to be there. Like, the sound was what I expected it to be. You know, this, this kind of aggressive, percussive kind of sound. Um... You know, Dave being the drummer that he is, and JPJ being a, the bass player that he is, and Josh writing, you know, his his writing in the in in the Queens, um, his guitar licks are are very rhythmically uh, directed. They're very, you know, they're pretty they're pretty percussive riffs. Um, there wasn't any of that at all. It was really, and it, there was a little, but it was mostly just boring, generic. You know, what you, what you would expect. Um, from a from a typical hard rock band, there were two songs that that gripped me. I have to say, the entire album wasn't like that. There were two songs that gripped me that totally just blew me away. That was Elephant and Scumbag Blues. Both of those like just grabbed me immediately. Um, especially Scumbag Blues. Uh, that was a really rhythmically uh, motivated song. I really really liked that song. The rest of the album, like the first four tracks, are really limp. And the rest of the album is okay, um, but I'm still I'm still gonna go out and get it because it might grow on me. It just might, and if it doesn't, oh well. Um, but for right now, yeah, that's you know that's really that was really my impression of it. Uh, I it, it, at this stage right now, if I if I absolutely knew it wasn't gonna be a grower, I would say don't buy it. Don't don't bother getting it. Not for the you know, just the two songs. The other thing was, you know, I I was really excited about Dave Grohl drumming on this album. He really doesn't do a lot. He doesn't do a lot of interesting things, and I was so disappointed by that. You know, there's no there's none of the really different, like rich drum beats that 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 you hear on on uh you know nirvana stuff and on on songs for the deaf you know and yeah it was just it was a really disappointing experience um except for those two songs so uh go check it out if you want um if if it's still streaming i'll leave a link in the sidebar to the first video so you can uh go watch it and tell me and tell me what you think leave a comment in the comment section tell me what you think see ya